Hello and welcome back to Money Mentor channel where today we're going to look at the Ashton share price forecast. Again, just like the uh, previous video of uh, Ferguson, I do hold Ashted in my trend following portfolio, uh, which you'll be able to see from the one year trend here. Uh, the reason why we do that, albeit it's pulled back slightly. So again, we're looking through the Stockopedia um, metric software to uh, summarize everything on a single page. Uh, Stockopedia rank is 78, so it's just become it's just fallen below the 80, which uh, which registers a green um, a green mark on the Stockopedia's ranking. So momentum is particularly strong, but value is low at 21. So it's actually it's a good quality stock. It's got great momentum, but it is expensive, um, which we'll see when we come down to look at those figures in a minute. 26. Um, 26 billion pound company with an enterprise value of 31 so it's carrying somewhere in a region of 5 billion pounds of debt on its books um, and creates a revenue of five and a half billion as i said it's uh, it's an industrial uh, business that lends um, hardware out to um, companies right across england and in particular throughout uh, the world united states and canada uh, as we can see here from the one-year chart it's had a really really strong year i'll just pan back over the three years so you can just see the uh, COVID dip here halfway through. So before COVID, it was having a strong trend upwards as well. I picked it up just about here. Uh, the COVID dip took a bash at it like everything else. Within two or three months, it had recovered uh, and actually has uh, continued to trend upward very, very strongly over the last uh, full year, 18 months. Although, as I said, just tailing off a little bit now, if I did a shorter period of time, you can see not a lot of income and certainly in the last month it's actually began just to tail off a little bit ash did actually run the um uh, the covid um, testing stations in the uk i think they run 500 testing stations so they do have a contract there maybe it started tailing off a little bit when the government were just about to wind up the uh, covid stations but uh, clearly they've kicked in again uh, with the outburst of the new variant so coming down here you can see all right, we can just see we're, 50, we're 10 percent off the 52 week high so actually has that trend stopped uh, normally when we dip below 10 percent from the peak might consider selling so i might have to look at that uh, from my portfolio a little bit later on dividend yields very very low ashton like to reinvest the money um, in maybe in mergers and acquisitions and also in just um, new plants and machinery etc so it's not a particularly generous dividend payer um, people buy this for the uh, for the growth aspect of it the health trend F score is a good robust seven. Uh, and if you actually have a look here at the revenue um, graph, don't worry about the figures, look at the graph over there. Very, very strong business. You can see why it's trending positively. Uh, great revenue um, and the operating profit slightly more up and down as it, ha as it has been. But the trailing 12 months for this year is as high as it has been. So that's actually done really, really well throughout the pandemic um, and a good, strong, robust business there. Uh, as we know, the dividend is pretty low. So all of these here are just below, they're below a percent each. So nothing to write home about on dividends. Although the dividend cover, very strong, three and a half to four times. So they can easily pay their dividend and have plenty of cash left to reinvest in the business via new, new plant machinery. Also um, pay down any debt should they choose to do so and some left over for mergers and acquisitions if that's the way they want to go with this. Um, net debt, we can see 6.4 billion dollars uh, just have a quick look at the shares so they've actually been doing some share buybacks as well by the looks of it if you look at 19 20 and 21 there's a declining number of shares so you're getting more bang for your buck in your shares the same earnings same earnings has been divided into the a fewer number of shares so you're getting more earnings per share which is good news uh, and you can see the book value actually increasing uh, corresponding with the reduction in other shares so all in all looking a really really good business uh, 17 brokers um, and it's sitting on a high so it's slightly higher than it was a little while ago but there or thereabouts are buying so it'll be a spread of holds a spread of strong buys and a few buys as well um, there does seem to be a little bit of upside on it the analysis forecast suggests a 66.05 price target so there's 11.8 percent upside from where we are now so i would need to consider whether i'm going to hold it much longer um, i'll have a little think about that i won't declare what i'm doing quite yet on it um, i need to have a bit more time to think but what do you think guys has the ash dead uh, trend actually started to wane uh, and reverse 
or do you agree with the analysts that there is another 10 12 percent upside in the business do let us know in the comments below and as always if you haven't already subscribed then please do if you are one of our subscribers then um, that's great news please leave some comments in the box um, and as always hit the bell to receive updates as and when i release new videos on the markets thank you